Hey guys, it's Max from Apple Insider, and in a series of videos, we put our $5,000 iMac Pro against one of the most popular configurations of the Mac Pro to test how much of a performance difference you can expect if you decide to upgrade. In our first two videos, we talked about specs and upgradability. We also ran a variety of benchmarks and tested performance using photo editing applications. If you missed out on those videos, you can check them out by using the links in the video description. In this video, we'll be comparing the two Macs in a variety of video editing tasks using both Final Cut Pro 10 and Premiere Pro. Make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on the last video, where we'll look at 3D animation and thermals. Kicking off today's comparison, we're going to start off looking at the performance in Final Cut Pro, and then we'll move to Premiere Pro. In Bruce X, a rendering benchmark for Final Cut, the iMac Pro was just over 40% faster, even though it only has a single graphics card compared to the Mac Pro's dual graphics cards. Next, we stabilized the 20 second 4K clip, and the all-in-one iMac Pro was almost 75% faster, but both machines had pretty quick times. Moving on to a 5 minute 1080p project with effects, our Mac Pro took 4 minutes and 41 seconds to render and encode. However, the iMac Pro was 80% faster. Testing the same project, but with 4K files and 4K encoding, we see an even bigger difference, with the iMac Pro being three and a half times faster. Our last project is short, but it's very CPU and GPU intensive, which I thought would give the iMac Pro an advantage since its dual graphics cards have roughly 25% more raw power. In the end, the iMac Pro was still twice as fast. As far as the actual editing experience with standard H.264 4K files, both machines didn't have an issue in Final Cut. I also rendered out a 5 minute 4K timeline with effects without the encoding, and here we only saw a 35% difference in speed between the two machines. This shows us that the late 2013 Mac Pro isn't that far off when it comes to timeline performance, but if any encoding is involved, it really slows down. I also wanted to test H.265 or HEVC. This is one of the latest compression methods that Apple and many others are using to lower file sizes while retaining the same quality. Rendering a 5 minute 4K HEVC project with effects took over twice as long on the Mac Pro, and if we wanted to render and encode so we could upload it online, the iMac Pro was over 20 times faster. This huge difference in performance comes from the iMac Pro's dedicated HEVC encoding and decoding hardware built into the Vega 56 graphics card, which the iMac Pro lacks. If you're working with this codec that Apple implemented in iOS 11 and macOS High Sierra, you're much better off with the iMac Pro. To finish off the test in Final Cut, let's take a look at 8K raw video from a RED cinema camera. Working in an 8K timeline, our iMac Pro could play back the demanding files with a few color corrections if we set the playback viewer to better performance. Our late 2013 Mac Pro, on the other hand, couldn't. We rendered out a 5 minute color corrected project out to ProRes and the all-in-one iMac Pro finished the task in just 17 minutes. The Mac Pro, on the other hand, took over 2 hours. If we compare these results to our fully specced out 2017 5K iMac, the Mac took even longer. This really shows how well optimized the iMac Pro is when you're working with high-end raw video. Now let's switch over to the most popular video editor, Adobe's Premiere Pro. Stabilizing 4K video, the iMac Pro came in 30% faster, but neither machine was pushed hard since Premiere's Warp Stabilizer isn't very efficient with resources. Taking a look at our 5 minute 1080p and 4K projects with effects, both resolutions rendered out about 25% faster on the iMac Pro. Testing timeline smoothness, the Mac Pro struggled at playing back the 4K project with two LUTs and film grain at full resolution, resulting in choppy footage from dropped frames. This was surprising since even my standard 5K iMac doesn't have any issues playing this project back. After a bit of digging, I figured out that Premiere Pro still only supports one graphics card when you're editing, and only makes use of the second one when you're exporting a project. This was the case when I bought my personal Mac Pro shortly after it launched over 4 years ago. Premiere users were really disappointed at the speeds they were getting because of this. I would have thought the software would be updated to better support the Mac Pro, but even in 2018, one of the graphics cards is still sitting idle most of the time. Next we tested the difficult multi-stream 4K project, and here the iMac Pro was almost twice as fast. Moving on to H.265 or HEVC, the iMac Pro was roughly 30% faster, and testing out 8K Red Raw, our Mac Pro took over 3 times as long to render and encode. Editing the 8K footage, our iMac Pro could play back in half resolution with one color correction, or at one quarter resolution with many corrections. The Mac Pro had to be at one quarter resolution to play it back at all, and even then we did get some drop frames. Comparing the 8K raw rendering and encoding times between both editing programs, the cylindrical Mac Pro performs similarly. When looking at our iMac, it performs much faster in Final Cut 10, showing off how well the combination of powerful new hardware and updated software can perform. Overall, if you're a video editor, the iMac Pro is really pulling ahead. 
Even in the least demanding tests using Premiere Pro, we're seeing a 25% speed improvement and a much improved editing experience that could save a pro hundreds or even thousands of hours in the lifetime of the machine. If you use Final Cut or work with difficult footage, we start getting results where the iMac Pro is twice as fast, and all the way up to over 20 times as fast, making the decision to upgrade to an iMac Pro a no-brainer. If you want to see our full review on the iMac Pro, you could do so by clicking this card above or by following the link in the video description, and make sure to subscribe to see part 4 of the series. And if you're ready to pick up your own iMac Pro, we have an exclusive offer that's available only for Apple Insider viewers. For a limited time only, save $500 on every iMac Pro at B&H Photo from the standard model all the way up to the top of the line 18 core systems. This is in addition to the free shipping and no tax on orders shipped outside of New York and New Jersey, potentially saving shoppers up to $1,555 compared to buying direct. To secure the bonus savings, simply email us at priceguides at gmail.com and mention this YouTube iMac Pro deal. We'll send over a time-sensitive, one-time-use coupon code to activate the $500 discount. Details can be found below and at appleinsider.com. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.